It's about being prepared at all times for every situation. Anything possible, I wanna be ready. Totally prepared. Sunburn, not a possibility. Might rain, you say? Prepared. It's about being ready for any situation possible. Social anxiety, you say? Prepared. I began the day full of energy, full of spoons, and it's the end of the day, and I'm ending it with nothing. I'm tired, I'm exhausted, and I have nothing left to give, and I'll use tomorrow to recuperate. Comment down below. Would love to see your comments. I'm so exhausted. It's just the real side, the real side of autism, and what I'm capable of and not capable of. That's how this social event, social trip, that's how this trip has affected me. Things can affect me sometimes like going out of town. It can just leave me exhausted. And I know that my masking, over masking has been the cause of all of this. So why do I do that to myself? Why do I feel the need to mask? Even with my diagnosis, it's a struggle after 50 years to unmask myself. Today I feel like drivel that plant. Imagine if it could talk, it would say it has no energy whatsoever. It just wants to fall over and rest. Why do we continue to do that to ourselves? Why do we... I, I just don't understand how researchers used to think that people with autism had no emotions or feelings for others. Because for us, it's really about wanting to fit in. So we obviously care about what others think. I really thought about not making a video today because I'm so exhausted. But I just really want to give other people who are struggling to some insight into how I experience things. So I am starting this day with about two spoons and it's the beginning of the day where I should have 10 spoons. I am going to hold on to these spoons as much as I can today, but it's pitiful that I have used up my energy just trying to mask around people I don't even know to be left with this today. I don't know what the breaking point is for me to understand that I deserve to do better for myself, especially knowing what it causes me. It's not fair to myself. to know how how trips affect you in what way how do you handle trips and how do you get through them what are your tips that you have 